Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And I got reports late last night that Israel had did a strike on Iran. And, uh, of course, from what we're seeing already, uh, it's only a few drones that flew into Iran. And, uh, and of course, Iran has shot those uh, drones down, from what I understand thus far. But, you know, what's really interesting, though, if that's the only thing Israel has done, I believe that Israel was only making a little play, a little show, nothing else, not anything that they're capable of doing, because uh, Gaza is a good example of that. Let's catch Al Jazeera. I found one little part there where they're talking about it, and let's listen to what they have to say. It's 10 a.m. GMT. That's just past 1.30 p.m. in Iran, where its air defense systems have shot down three drones. As tensions run high with Israel. The interceptions happened near the central city of Asfahan. Now, Iranian media says a nuclear site and military base in the vicinity were not damaged. American media, well, they're quoting U.S. officials and reporting it as an Israeli attack. But the Israeli military itself, well, they've not commented. Israeli officials had vowed to attack Iran after Tehran struck Israel on Saturday. Hundreds of drones and missiles were fired towards Israel. It was in response for the Israeli bombing of the Iranian consulate building in Syria earlier this month. Seven members of Iran's Revolutionary Guard were killed there. Well, we have a team of... So the thing is, is from what I can tell right now, what we're seeing is that this is really not even a, 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 a real response. And I know that it's not a response that the Israeli military was planning on doing in the first place there. Uh, there have been suggestions that these have come out of Iraq uh, from the Kurds uh, flying that in. And quite frankly, very much like the analysts that I played uh, in support of Iran the other day that said they had learned everything about Israel, where the air defenses were, where the capabilities were, where the planes would take off from, whether it be Cyprus, Israel, or other different bases in the region. Iran learned a lot from their attack on Israel. Uh, and these few drones, of course, still, that's not even enough for, for, uh, for Israel really to know uh, what what they could gauge with Iran's capabilities. So I have a feeling it's only just the, you know, the calm before the storm. And I do believe that Israel is definitely going to go much harder. But if you'll notice, Netanyahu has been doing a lot like George Bush. He has actually been set talking more about building a coalition of partners uh, to respond to Iran. And I guess getting them all on board the same page to do that is still somewhat of a challenge. And even if they do use their proxies, uh, we know that uh, th there has been some talk of uh, an attack on, on Iran from Afghanistan. Uh, so it just remains to be seen exactly what Israel will do. And of course, as we reported the other day, the Egyptians were claiming that that Israel had, had agreed not to do a major attack on Iran so long as uh, the U.S. give them that green light to go into Rafah inside of Gaza. And, uh, of course, the, the, is, the United States is denying that they agreed for that to happen. But I still, I don't believe either way. I believe they are planning an attack on Iran, and it will be a heavy attack when they do. The thing is, is what Israel has to be able to do if they're going to make an attack, is to make an attack so successful that Iran would not have the means to be able to retaliate. Because after all, if Iran is able to retaliate with a thousand plus missiles and drones and things of that nature, then that's going to really be a big problem. Not to mention... Iran has the uh, those super uh, hypersonic missiles in their in their armory now, and that would be something that Israel, I'm sure, would like to know where they are, so that if they could disable that, then it would give them a better edge on being able to defeat Iran on a battlefield. I'm Stephen Benoon. It's your update this morning with Israeli News Live. I'll be talking to you later this evening as I analyze, analyze these things from a more biblical perspective putting all the pieces on the table. I'm Stephen Benoon. God bless you.